Vegas pot hunting. Let the mm. collecting begin. Hi guys, I'm Jason. And I'm Lonnie. And you're watching another video right here on Las Vegas Poptastic. Phoenix Poptastic. Phoenix Poptastic. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time one of our videos goes up. You can also find us on Facebook under Phoenix Poptastic and join our Facebook group Funko Poptastic. And follow us on Instagram at Phoenix Poptastic and follow her at Mrs. Phoenix Poptastic. All links are down in the description. So we went to all these places and stuff, and yeah, it was really cool. We went to the Pop Shack. We went over to Brad's Toys and Collectibles mm -hmm. and the Meadows Mall. We did. And we went to... Oh, that was it. We bought all we of this. We bought a bunch of stuff. Two stores. So let's start with what we found at this place. All right, guys, we're here in Las Vegas. We're going to head inside and check out the Pop Shack here. We're at the Boulevard Mall here in Las Vegas. I got my brother here, got the fan, got Pam Rose. I'm gonna go check it out, see what we can find. The Pop Shack. Let's see what we got in here. So guys, as you can see, it's just amazing how many pops they have at here at the Pop Shack. It's really, really cool. They got a lot of the bigger pops up on the top here. A lot of 10 inches. I mean, the wall just goes on and on and on forever. And there's so much cool stuff here. And they also got tons of other collectibles, all kinds of stuff. I mean, look at these Ninja Turtles. These are really cool. Look at that, that's awesome. So yeah, pretty cool place. Pops over here on this wall. And I think it's a huge place, guys. It's just so big. There's so much stuff going on. I got the Indiana Jones up there. I'm gonna look around, see what there is, and we're gonna head off to some other places too. So we'll see you in the next store. All right, guys, say bye to the Pop Shack. We got us our deals, and we'll see when we get home. So, Pop Shack. Pop Shack. All oh, lots of fun stuff. Yeah. Although I will say their tables that had a lot of their chases and things on there weren't quite as full as they were when we were there in November. Yeah, that's true. It's but, like they, they didn't have quite as much as Yeah, they were like three or four deep and three or four tall stacked full of chases. Yeah, and, last time we went. There's yeah, old, old video. If you bear to watch through it, there's an old video up there. <laughs> Noobs. Any hoozy. Um, call me a noob. No, I mean, you, you'd be the judge of that. So, it was. I found uh, <laughs> Mr. Ross Geller from the second wave of the Friends. Yep, I love Friends. That I had to have because previously uh, Jason got me Monica and Phoebe. Mm -hmm. So I saw Ross and I was like, wow, throw him in. I need him. Yep. And Peyton Rose, who loves My Little Ponies found and picked out Princess Celestia. That is a big oh, She's pop. heavy. She's like huge. 2017. She's just really um, But she's very pretty. Pop. Now they have a, a Twilight Pop and Fluttershy. Yeah, but they're, they're the pretty big too, but she's huge. Oh, she's oh no, 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 not that. <laughs> just come on, you guys, let's do it.
And I got from the common wall over there the Firestorm from DC Comics to, you know, add to my DC Comics line. I have so many going. I really want to get a lot of these, uh, just the DC superheroes line. I'm not sure how many there are in total because I'm always coming across newer and newer and another and other ones, but I want to get all of these. So Firestorm, he was one of my favorite characters as a kid too. And then behind the wall there in their little grail or special part area, they had Orko. He's like a $20 pop, something like that, but he was sitting back there and I know the new line's coming out and there's supposed to be an Orko, I believe, coming out soon. He hasn't come out yet, but I'm definitely getting Prince Adam from the new line and stuff, but Orko was one of my favorite, favorite characters growing up and so I had to get the original. Very cool to get those from the Pop, pop Shack. Shack. And then we like scurried over to the Meadows Mall and went to Brad's. All right, now we're at the Meadows Mall. Let's go in here and see what we can find. All right, so there's Brad's. There's my brother, Daniel. We're gonna go check this out. Spencer's, the t-shirt diner. That's the place. All right, guys, so we're here at Brad's. I'm gonna check out some of these pops. They got all kinds of pops, as you can see. All kinds all over the place. They got DC, all kinds of stuff. So let's check it out. Here's all the baseball ones. These are cool. So as you can tell, this store is really, really cool. I mean, there's just pops all over the place. And just, these are all Star Wars here. And, you know, there's just tons. You got Power Rangers and just a bunch of cool stuff. Here's all the wrestling pops. And Diesel and Batista. You always won't need some Batistas. You all need some Batistas. You got lots of Batistas. Okay. See him again? Thank you. See, see, look, look. Yep, this is what happens when your family gets introduced <laughs> to Funko Pops. We buy the whole go. Westworld cast. Yeah. And I'm down to one, missing one, Bernard. Well, we'll find him. So we have Easy. to now leave and go on another trip. <laughs> How many pops can you get? How many pops can you get? All right, well, there goes the grab toys and collectibles. Worked out pretty good. We enjoyed it. So there's a line here to go into Hot Topic, of course. I don't know, do we need to stand in line? You think? Here's GameStop, there's a line here. So I'm guessing we have to wait to go oh, back in 30 minutes. Oh, that's nice. Look at them go. I don't know. Let's see if they even have what I want. So there's all the stuff they have. I wanted to get the battle cat. Which I'm not seeing in here. So... Pooey on them doesn't matter because they don't even have what I want. Nope. Oh well. We already had... Phoebe Buffet from Super Friends as Supergirl. Thanks, Fox! And uh, so we had her sitting around, and I had given you Monica Geller before. I don't mm -hmm. remember. I ordered her on Macari, I think. I believe you did. There's a chase of this one, too, I believe. Yes, with her fuzzy hair. With her fuzzy hair. Hilarious. So, but then at Brad's, we found... I came across their huge wall of $8.99 pops. Finish it off. And they had Chandler Bing. Very cool, and his flock of seagulls seagull hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> they had Rachel Green, looking like her 80s. Now, do you know what each of these, like what the scenes are for each of these? Of course you do. Yeah, I mean, these are just all like when they do flashbacks. Ah, um, so it's like, I wonder why they Like there's a flashback of Rachel, this is, they were at a party, her and Monica, and Monica was in her little chubby suit because she's so chubby. So why they have done the And they were dancing. Though, I don't know, now that is interesting because it's the second wave of Friends. Yeah. And so Rachel Chandler and Ross are all 80s versions. Oh, yeah. And then we have Phoebe, who is Supergirl. Supergirl. 
which is not a flashback. And Monica, that's from when they went to um, on vacation or something. Barbados. Right? Yeah. They went with Ross uh, for a speechy yahoo convention <laughs> that he was in. And then you and have, then they Mr. have a Joey Tribbiani. My favorite. One of my favorites. Wearing all of Chandler's clothes. So like Ross, too. Now, what's that from? That's from the episode where they were going to go celebrate the engagement. The one where nobody's ready, I believe is the name of it. And the guys were fighting over... Well, no. Joey got up out of the chair and said Chandler sat there. And then Joey was mad that Chandler sat in the stage. Chandler wouldn't get up. So Joey went across the apartment, you know, went to their apartment. And put on all of Chandler's clothes. And then came back in and said... So... And he also said that he was free balling. Oh. And he said, you won't want me to do any lunges. And started lunging in the hilarious. Well, speaking of TV shows. One more bite of eclair each. Hold it in your mouth if you can't swallow. We also ran across in Brad's the newer line of The Office, so some of them. There's some mm -hmm. they were missing too. So we got Michael Scott in his out in the desert. Desert? Yeah. It was more like it, a wooded area. Well, wooded area to him, but. Well, yeah, it wasn't desert, it was wooded, but he was stranded and was supposed to be left alone. Yeah, and Dwight was and Dwight in the bushes was watching, watching him. him. Yeah, it's great. And then we got Florida Stanley. And he's just sitting there with his little glasses. And didn't they all go to Florida or just him on that episode? I know this episode because it's like one of the first ever well, episodes. It is the first episode. Just the gelatin and the stapler. Hilarious. Michael, he did it again. Um, we did, we did pre-order all of these and I want to yeah. say I pre-ordered them at like Walmart or somewhere. And I still have not received notification that they're ready to be picked up. Or so, anything. Uh, Walmart has them in stock. We got so. a little impatient and bought them because we saw them. I think you need to investigate more. I shall. We need to get uh, Meredith and... Yes, I have Kelly. Meredith is another one I have on pre-order. Yep. We need to get Kelly mm. still. And I need to get the Game, Stop. <laughs> the GameStop exclusive. Amanda with sprinkles. Angela. What? Angela with sprinkles. What did like, I say, Amanda? Who's Amanda? <laughs> Amanda. Who is Amanda? Who's Amanda? I'm gonna no. song. It's a okay. very good Boston song. And oh. then for rocks stuff, we had Freddie Mercury and we love some Queen, some Bohemian Rhapsody, some all of this crap. Oh, and uh, so we had to get Brian May, Brian May when we came across it in Brad's Toys and Collectibles. For eight ninety nine. Yeah, all these all comments are eight ninety nine. It's awesome. They have a little uh, loyalty card, and if you fill up the card, you get an extra. You get one free eight ninety nine pop, and we filled up the card. We filled up two cards. Oh, so maybe it's when you fill up two cards. Fill you up get. two cards, yes. We filled up. We got two one cards. free pop, or in the first pop fill up, you might get a half one. I don't know. But we also got Axel Rose. And this is a funny story because we used to have this, but then we went to Las Vegas on a recent past vacation and saw Guns N' Roses with my brother. And so we gave him this pop and then we later got Slash. And so we still needed Axel. Okay. And I've been looking on the car. You don't see him in the stores around here that I've seen. And he's always like 20 bucks, whatever, but $8.99 at Brad's. Thank you, Brad's. Thank you for having all these cool comments that you don't usually yeah. see everywhere. Speaking of, we've got this cool, one of your favorite movies that we were talking about before in this video where it just came on after you were looking for yeah. the, mm -hmm. the shirt pack box girl lunch, bundle. which we still don't have, didn't get, but it is. Uh, uh, it's a T-Rex, uh, and uh, he's, uh, she, she uh, is super cute. She is super cute. 
You guys a Dilophosaurus chase? We do. I want the so Velociraptor. I, think I don't really even care about, the, I mean, the, the people pops, the actor pops are cool, the, Dr. Ian Malcolm and all that, but I just want all the dinosaurs. I want the 10 inch T-Rex. I do want the 10 inch, and I was actually keeping an eye out for him, I didn't see him anywhere. No. One of your uh, favorites. One of my favorites. It was there. Just snatched it up. And these, Beetlejuice. These next two are like remakes, it seems like. Look on the bottom of that. Is it? 2018. Yeah. Oh, it does say 2018. How weird. Okay. I thought it said 20. Because on the bottom it has a 20 at the beginning. So I thought. But he still just looks funny. Yeah. I wonder if he would glow with there a is an, There is a... Um, there is no. um, a... A hot chase? topic. Yeah. No, it's not Chase. It's oh. a exclusive. This guy, this woman, this guy, this woman has a chase. So it's oh. the uh, Wonder Woman, just the common that I found there for eight ninety nine. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Cause again, we need to finish this line. Or we, I don't think we'll finish it cause there's tons of them, I'm sure. And while I have you here, speaking of Brad's, we're gonna put the links down in the description. But they have Instagram accounts for the Meadow Malls location mm -hmm. and for the a larger location that they have there in Vegas. Yep. In and Henderson. they yep. it was in Henderson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they post pictures on Instagram of everything that they get in and they ship worldwide. Yeah. So their grills and everything. They do yeah. and stuff. Great store, great variety of stuff. Yeah. Follow them on Instagram. And if they ever pop up something you're looking for, give them a call, contact them, purchase it, they can ship it to you. Yeah. World. And if you live in Vegas and you haven't heard of Brad's, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with you. Go down to the Meadows Mall. Or if you're stuff. going through Vegas at any point in time, yeah. check them out. Yeah, definitely check them out. And check out the Pop Shack. I know a lot of you have heard of the Pop Shack before there in Vegas. They're pretty good. That wall is huge. Oh. I would say that, uh, not that it matters or anything, but they're like five to ten dollars over PPG. It seemed on uh, some I stuff. I think some of and them. And some were. of that could be because you know things it fluctuate, fluctuate yeah. and they. I mean, how could you go out there and reprice everything every day, right? So, but mm -hmm. overall, I think it's worth it. The, I mean, the condition. I paid like three dollars extra for Orco than PPG, but the condition of the box, it's perfect condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. So, it's kind of worth it. Whatever. Yeah. It's like shipping, anyways. Who cares, right? All right, well, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the pop hunt and all that good stuff, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you're notified every time one of our videos goes up. You can also find us on Facebook under Phoenix Poptastic and join our Facebook group Funko Poptastic. That's right, and follow us on Instagram at Phoenix Poptastic and follow her at Mrs. Phoenix Poptastic. All links are down in the description. And we'll see you next time on, on Phoenix, Phoenix Poptastic. Poptastic.